Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna be recording. Oh my god, my brain. I need to fix this. So no, come on. <laughs> So today we're going to be recording a how-to plumbing video for you guys. So if there's any plumbers out there or anybody interested in um, anything that got to do with plumbing, stay tuned. See, do you want to tell them what you're going to be doing? All right. So today, um, you know, uh, I'm a licensed plumber. So uh, we decided that why not share, you know, some of my experience with, with some of our, our viewers. Maybe they may have to replace a, a wax seal on a toilet. Um, that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and uh, just walk you through all the steps and try and help you out if you, if you ever need to do this. Yep. So we'll see y'all in the next clip. Okay, so this is the culprit right here. And the reason why we're going to replace the wax seal is because it's leaking. It's leaking because it has a rock to it. Okay. Anytime your toilet has a rock to it, your, your wax seal is going to start leaking eventually. So just tightening up the bolts is going to take care of it. So the first thing we need to do is we take the lid off so we don't want to break that. Right. Put it someplace safe. And we're going to shut the water off to the toilet, but we're going to shut the water off to the whole house because we're going to replace this valve right here because it leaks. All right. Hey. This, this customer here um, uses the blue dye, um, which will stain anything. So you gotta be real careful with the blue dye because it will stain everything. Um, uh, so just be real careful with that. I've, I've laid down a, a protective um, floor mat, so that therefore I can protect my customer's floors. The more you do preventive, the less cleanup you have to do. So right. let's go and get the water shut off. So I can get it draining down while I wait while I'm replacing this wax seal. Okay, so we'll see y'all in the next clip. All right, so this is their water meter. If you live in the city, you're gonna have a water meter. And a water meter is all gonna have what they call a curb stop. So we're just gonna shut that off, shut the water off to the house so I can replace that valve. Some are a little harder than others, all right? Yep. Is it off? It's off. That was fast. Yes. Okay. So, so we'll, now, now we're going to go over and open up an uh, outside faucet and let the water drain out. Okay. All right, so this is the front of the house right here. They have a hose attached, so we're just going to simply remove the hose. Okay. Open the valve. And let all the water drain out. That was it? That's it. And that's going to stop the flow in-house? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, so the water's off. I'm going to go ahead and start removing the toilet. This one here, the bolts are pretty rusted on it, so it might take a minute to go ahead and remove these. Okay. For knee surgeries, I'm going to use a knee pad. Yep. And fortunately, these, this one here is going to come right off. Um, this, one, this one here, they didn't double nut it, so the bottom is trying to turn along with the nuts. So you can lift up on it, and hopefully that will give it enough pressure to hold it in place where you can unscrew the nut. All right, now onto the other side. See, this one here is going to turn along with the nut. So we got to put a little pressure under this one. All right, let me stop it. I'm recording. Okay, just like I said on the other side, because they didn't double nut, we're going to have to really try hard to get this one off of here. So you can put a screwdriver underneath it and pry on it to give it some pressure. And see if you can give it enough pressure to, to, to get it off.
Yep, yep. It's not gonna come off. That's the toilet? No, that's just, that's just the bottom, the cap bottom. So this one here is certainly not gonna be cooperative. So we're gonna remove the, the washer and we're just gonna pull the toilet up past it. All right, let's, let's not forget to disconnect the water line. Remove the toilet. I'm in good position. Always straddle the toilet, grab with both hands, and pull up straight. And then you just kind of duck walk it back. And that's how you remove the toilet. Alright. So the next thing we're going to do is remove the wax seal so it's out of our way. We're going to pull the old one out. I just generally just flatten the box out. So I have a place to put my wax seal. And that's a lot of wax seal right there. So, notice how deep this flange is below the floor. So therefore you're gonna need a lot of wax seal to make up that gap. And notice how the bolts aren't double nutted. So we're gonna, we're gonna when we put back new bolts, we're gonna double nut them. All right? So the valve is a lot easier to replace with the toilet out of the way. So that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so this is a special tool that is actually designed for compression valves. This here is a compression valve. And what makes it a compression valve? Um, it has a compression nut, it has a ferrule, and the compression nut tightens the ferrule around the copper pipe. That's how that process works. So we're not gonna use this part, we're gonna use the old ferrule and compression nut that are already there. Now this tool comes apart. Just simply slide it in, in, in there. All right, we're just gonna put the new one back in place. And it's, that, it's, it's literally that simple. But to know what kind of valve you have is important though. This, like I said, is a compression valve. So we wanna, we went back with a compression valve. And yes, that needs to be really tight. Okay, now we can turn the water back on. All right, so we're getting ready to turn the water back on. The first thing you want to do is shut that hose bib off that you open to drain the system. So we're going to do that first. We'll put the customer's hose back in place. Okay. So when you turn the water back on to, to uh, a house, you don't want to burst it on 
you know, just crank it right open. You want you want to just crack it, let the system pressurize, and then and then finish turning it on. Okay, so like I was saying, when you when you turn the water on, you want to turn it on nice and slowly and wait for it to pressurize. When you start hearing water, that's when you want to stop. Okay? So we're going to leave it like that. We're going to go back inside. We're going to do our work. And then before we leave, we'll go ahead and finish turning on, on the rest of the way. Okay, so we're going to take up the excess, excess water. And we're going to make sure that our valve isn't leaking. And I call this successful valve change. All right, so let's go back to the toilet. Okay, so uh, because this is a... a a, a, a deep, the, the flange is so far away from the toilet. I, I got some extra heavy duty bolts, um, and uh, uh, that, that will help secure the toilet a lot better. So, you need to make sure that you measure to the center of the toilet. And this one here is actually 11 and a half, so we need to make sure our bolts are 11 and a half, okay, before we tighten down on them. Notice that these are what I call double nutted. I'm going to Tighten these down to the flange, and then I'm going to tighten the toilet down to them. So when you go to take the toilet up, you, your bolts aren't going to turn on you like 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 uh, the other ones did that I had to take off. They started turning. So I'm, I'm going to tighten these things down pretty good. You don't want to over tighten because it's just a plastic flange. You don't want to break the flange in the process of tightening them. So, 11 and a half, 11 and a half. All right, so that toilet's gonna sit good on that. Okay. Um, now, what I like to do is I like to dry fit my toilet. What I mean by that is I don't put the wax seal down. I, I dry fit it to make sure it's gonna sit right. Um, and any shimming that needs to be happen, I, I'll shim it then, and then pull the toilet back off, put the wax seals back on, and then tighten the toilet down. All right, so, again, Get the center of it, and then duck walk it around. And then set it down over the bolts. Okay, like so. Now, see how it rocks? So we're gonna go ahead and shim that before we put the bolts back down. Because Sure, you can tighten the bolts up, but after a while, it's going to wear on that flange and it'll either break it or it'll break a bolt. But I use heavy duty bolts, it's not going to break a bolt, but it's, it still can break the flange. So we want to make sure that we shim that before we go to that process. And we're going to do that by using these, these rubber shims. I like using the rubber ones because they don't move. We're just going to simply slide them under the toilet and see if we can stop that from, from, from shaking. You ain't gonna put the wax seal back down? Not yet. Oh. Okay, it looks like that might just be the only one I need. That looks like that took care of it. So, now I'm gonna pull the toilet back off. Leave that shim in place. I'm gonna pull the toilet back off. Just enough so I put my two wax seals on it because the flange is so deep. I need to use two wax seals. So that's the first one.
And there's the second one. So now I know I'm gonna have a good seal. You should feel the toilet sit down on top on the wax seals. Okay? Now again, the toilet shouldn't shake. The toilet shouldn't shake. So it's good and shimmed. So this once I put the bolts on, this will be a done deal. Because I broke one of the caps, taken off the old one, I have new caps. Very simple. It says this side up. So you need to make sure that you put that side up. <sighs> so we 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 dug, we nut the bottom, now we're gonna nut the top. And these don't have to be muscle tight because you can break the flange or even break the toilet. Okay? You don't want to over tighten them. It's real important not to over tighten them. until it's secure. So, we're gonna hook our water line up. Sometimes so the braid line doesn't doesn't move with you, you need to hang on to it with something else. So I'm just gonna grab a hold of this real quick. Just so it doesn't turn while I finish tightening it. Because you don't want to twist a braided line. That will cause you more problems. We're gonna turn the water on. Okay. And now we're going to put our caps on. All right, that one there doesn't need any doesn't need any cutting. Okay, but this side here I'm probably going to, have to cut it. It's probably too tall. It is too tall. So while the toilet's filling, I'll go ahead and cut that off. Okay, so since it was such a thick bolt, I just went ahead and did it off camera. So instead of having y'all sit around and watch me saw off a nut, clean up your mess. Where's my new cap? Right here. Put your new cap on. Alright, so now we got the bolts in place, we got the caps on, so now we're going to turn the water on. Let it fill up, and then we'll test our work. In the meantime, that wedge that you see down there, you see how it's sticking out? We're just gonna take a knife and just cut that off. Now you don't see it. All right, so the back of the toilet's full. And, and, and because they use a blue dye, it's real easy to see if the toilet's still leaking or not because obviously you'll see the blue dye come out. Put the toilet down, dry fit it. Make sure that it doesn't rock when you put it down because even if you bolt it down, you say, oh, well, it's not rocking now. It'll eventually wear loose again and it'll start rocking. So always dry fit, make sure it doesn't rock before you actually put down a wax seal and tighten the bolts down. And if you need shim, then shim it. I recommend rubber shims. So we went ahead and cleaned up the whole mess. And now the only thing I've left to do now is put the lid on. And the mess is cleaned.
This, by the way, is not my house. This is a customer's house that I did this work at. You ain't gonna show that it don't move. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay. No wobble, no wiggle, no nothing, no water, no blue dye, no leak from the valve that we put in. Okay, so we'll close it out. This is a good job, done deal. Now guess, who, now guess what happens? I get paid. So until next time, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Look for our next videos. Deuces.